Welcome to the LimoZip uh, training tutorial for signing up for the very first time. If you're watching this video, you probably spoke to a sales agent after filling out one of these forms here on the left, and you're wondering how you can finalize and go ahead and start service with us. So, the very first step uh, after talking to your sales agent, he should have uh, sent, he or she should have sent you an email. Here's an example of that email. There's a link at the bottom that says sign up now. After going ahead and reading the email and making sure that you're okay with the price and everything, you want to click on sign up now. That's going to take you to a page like this here where you have to fill out a little bit more detail. So I'm going to go ahead and get started. My name's going to be Joe. and my company is going to be LimoZip I'm just going to hit, go ahead and enter some dummy information here just for the purpose of showing you Alright, so then it's going to ask you if you own the fleet directly. So basically, are these your cars? Um, you would want to select basically either you have a sedan or an SUV, a stretch limo, whatever it is that, that encompasses your, fe your fleet as closely as possible. You don't have to be 100% accurate because, well, we can adjust it later. Just give us a rough idea. You know, If it's a large company, you may want to select something like this. Six plus vehicles. And here what's, it's going to uh, ask you about uh, fleet that's owned by other companies. So if you farm out to anybody or have any friends that have other s sorts of vehicles that you might want to utilize, you would go ahead and mention it here. You can also give us more details later on. Alright, so right here um, on the domain name you don't have to enter something here because uh, oftentimes we help you choose a domain that's going to be more searchable and local to your area so you can leave this blank unless you have a domain that you absolutely want to use um, now this is definitely required you, we need to have your cell phone number that you want to receive text messages from uh, quote requests so you would enter that here and then you're going to want to go ahead and choose a carrier whatever carrier you have. I'm going to pick AT&T. Alright. And if you have an email address that's attached to your cell phone, one that you receive on your phone, you'd enter that right here. Alright. And then you'd go ahead and uh, pick the type of cell phone that you have from this list here. alright and I'm just gonna go ahead and place my email address in there um, and I'm going to continue that's going to bring us to this page here now notice that there's two links one says click here to sign the agreement the other one says click here to pay once you complete one of the actions uh, you're going to need to come back and do the other. So we'll go ahead and start with uh, e-signing e the agreement. E-sign means electronic signature. So you're going to be um, giving us a you know legally binding uh, signature, but it's going to be through the computer. So your agreement is ready. Please click here. That's what we're going to do. alright here we are now uh, what we have to do here is click here to review and sign alright now this is the part where you have to read through the legal jargon um, it's really not very difficult to understand you know it's um, 
pretty basic stuff. There's no binding contract. Um, you know, you can terminate uh, with us. So it's not we're not locking you into any certain period, like a year or two years or anything like that. Just go ahead and read all of this, and once you're done reading, you're going to want to submit electronically and click right there where it says page 5 so I'm going to be Jojo and I'm going to click on submit electronically right here please check the e-signature acknowledgement okay looks like we forgot something oh yep this little button right here you just click that and then click on submit electronically alright success we we went ahead and signed it now we're going to need to go back oh yeah I guess it was on another tab now here we're gonna need to go ahead and pay so I'm gonna click on this button here and that's opening it up in the other tab alright so this is our bill um, it may not be your bill depending on what it is you were interested in and uh, what area you're in and, and different variables but this is my bill here and I have one of two options I can pay directly with my PayPal account which we recommend that everybody has because it's uh, one of the uh, primary ways of receiving money through our system or if you don't have a PayPal account just to go ahead and finish today uh, you can go ahead and click here and it'll ask you for your credit card and you know the code in the back of the card expiration all your billing details once you're done here you'll review and continue um, and then you'll click the final button to pay and that'll be done. This, go this concludes this video. I hope that uh, this has been informative. If there's any other questions that you may have, uh, please feel free to ask me. Adam at limozip.com. Thanks a lot.